Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today we are making the Tom Collins. Who was Tom Collins? And how have we not made this drink on the channel yet? All of this and more on today's episode. Uh, Tom Collins is a great summertime drink. It's been a fan favorite for over a century, a long time. And we're gonna break it down, we're gonna make it. There's nothing fancy here. This is just a straightforward, simple recipe that is delicious and serves as a nice template for creating new drinks. So, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and let's go make the Tom Collins to the bar. The mighty Tom Collins. Like so many old drinks, the origin of this cocktail is debated. However, the most accepted story is that the Tom Collins was not called a Tom Collins at its creation, it was called a John Collins. And it was created by a guy named John Collins, who was in London at this place called the Limmer's Old House, a coffee house, bar. This is a place in London, uh, no longer around, and this was in the early 1800s. Now, most likely that drink used Holland gin as a base, or Geneva, kind of the precursor to gin. That's all well and good. The real mystery about this drink is how did we get from the name John Collins to Tom Collins. Two schools of thought here. Number one, you had in 1882, the release of Harry Johnson's new and improved bartender's manual. And in that book, there are two recipes, one for a John Collins and one for a Tom Collins. And they are almost identical, except their base spirits are different. You have the Holland gin in the John Collins, like I mentioned moments ago. And then you have Old Tom gin as the base of the Tom Collins. Old Tom gin, Tom Collins. Perfect. However, eight years before the release of this book, there was a little something called the Great Tom Collins Hoax of 1874. Now this happened in the New York slash Boston area. And during that year, there was this prank. You would go into a bar and the bartender would ask you if you know somebody named Tom Collins. You'd probably say no and they would say, well, he knows you because he was just in here talking smack about you and he left and went to the next bar down the road. So. Naturally, you leave that bar and you go looking for Tom. So you go to the next bar and you ask the bartender, like, hey, is Tom Collins here? I've got a bone to pick with that guy. And they say, you just missed him. He left and went to the next bar down the road. And so you would start going from bar to bar. Everybody's laughing at you. And so at some point, humiliated, you give up or you find some guy named Tom and you beat him up. So the other theory is that this drink was named after this phenomenon. Which one is right? I don't know. Whatever the case may be, it's a simple and refreshing drink. It's essentially a gin sour with carbonated water. Now, if you watched last week's video, this sounds a lot like my definition of the fizz. How I differentiate the two is I think of a fizz in a smaller highball glass without any ice and the Collins in the larger Collins glass with ice. But that's getting a little nitty gritty. On to the next segment, now the booze. For the Tom Collins, we are gonna need gin, lemon juice, simple syrup, and carbonated water. For the gin, I'm using an Old Tom gin, which is a little bit sweeter than a London Dry. This will work with any gin. It works with different spirits. It's a winning combination, but if you are to be true to what a Tom Collins originally was, we would go with the Old Tom gin. For the juice, we are gonna want freshly squeezed lemon juice. I always use freshly squeezed juice. You should too. The simple syrup, this is my semi-rich syrup, one and a half parts sugar to one part water, and carbonated water. You can use uh, sparkling mineral water, you can use club soda, it's all gonna be good. We just want the bubbles in the drink. Now, let's build. Yeah, four ingredients, not bad, pretty easy. Okay, good talk. All right, so as the name would suggest, this is gonna be served in a Collins glass. It's best to get it chilled. In fact, we want as many components of this drink to be cold as we can because the cold helps with the bubbles. Get your glassware chilled. So into a shaking tin, let's start with the gin. Two ounces of gin. To that, let's add the simple syrup. I'm gonna do half an ounce of the simple and one ounce of fresh lemon juice. Save the soda water, we're not gonna shake that in. Now we can add ice and shake. All right, this is gonna be a really quick shake. We just wanna incorporate everything, add a little bit of air, but we're not looking to overly dilute this because we're gonna add water anyway. So let's say, 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds, seven seconds. Actually, as I shook it, seven seconds felt right. Now grab your chilled glassware, gonna drop in our ice, one more. Now we can strain the cocktail into the glass while we add the soda. I'm gonna start with the cocktail because I wanna make sure to get all of the cocktail into the glass. Ta-da! It's gonna be about two to three ounces of soda water for this glass, which is just right. You can garnish this however you want. I'm gonna do a lemon wheel and a cherry. Let's grab a cherry, maybe like that. Don't overthink it. I think that looks nice. And there we have the Tom Collins. 
Cheers. Mm, absolutely wonderful. This is refreshing, bright, you get the lemon. You do get the botanicals from the gin. If you are using a London Dry, then you might want to up the simple syrup just a little bit because the Old Tom is a bit sweeter. Balanced, fizzy, refreshing. This is not gonna last long, dangerous. Oz, would you like a sip? Yes. Mmm, that's so good. Isn't that good? Here's an extra little tidbit about the Tom Collins. In 1882, the Tom and John Collins are separated. However, in 1887, in Jerry Thomas's second edition of the Bartender's Manual, Bartender's Guide, I don't know, I never remember what all these things are called. Anyway, in that book, He's got a whiskey Tom Collins, and then one with brandy, and one with gin. And they're all called Tom Collins. So feel free to use whatever base spirit you want. You can add other liqueurs, maraschino, creme de violette. I'm sure they'll all be good in here. However, sometimes things don't need to be changed, and I, that's how I feel about the Tom Collins. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, check us out on Patreon, grab your merch, uh, don't forget your coffee. Don't uh, forget to sign up for my newsletter. I'm gonna put links for all this stuff in the description down below. Enjoy your Tom Collins. Get ready for warmer weather. Unless you're in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, that's okay. This is, this is gonna be great in the cold weather too. I will see you next time. Cheers.